The other day I was watching the uh, GCN show and uh, one of the topics they had was about uh, um, making your bike a little more comfortable and one of the uh, ways in which you can do that is by increasing the size of the tire that you're running on your bike. So as an example, if you're running a 23 mil tire, bump up to a 25 or even a 28 and you can run slightly lower tire pressure than the 23 with the 25 or 28 and that helps to cushion any sort of little bumps and vibrations on the road adding to your comfort and uh, it's not a new topic it's been around for a while everybody knows about it uh, that is a fan of GCN and um, naturally uh, I took their advice and uh, that's exactly what I did I increased my tire size I went up to a uh, 28 mil on my on my road bike uh, up until the time I changed my front fork and then found out that 28 would no longer work I had to bump it back down to a 25 and uh, that's fine I'm happy with that but uh, The question uh, then becomes, well, how do you know whether or not you can fit a 25 or 28 mil tire on your bike uh, bumping up from a 23? Uh, simply put, all you need to do is uh, measure the distance that you have between your existing tire and uh, the forks, obviously, and the chain, uh, the chain stays in the back. Just to make sure that you have more than the difference between a 23 and a 28 mil tire uh, left on your bike to accommodate the additional tire size. Now that's just kind of a rule of thumb and generally it should work for you. Uh, things like tire pressure and type of tire that you are replacing your tire with, uh, tire wear, all come into the calculation to determine whether or not that new tire is actually going to fit. But in general, I mean, that's how you do it. You just go from 23 to 28, that's 5 mil more that you need for clearance on your bike to fit the new tire. It's easy peasy. Uh, 5 mil, I believe, is about 4 tenths of an inch. So if you have a good half inch clearance between uh, your current tire and your bike right now, you should to the right you should easily be able to go from a 23 to a 28 uh, I think the other thing that <clears throat> may be true and it's only I'm only speaking from my personal experience I think the more lower end bike you have uh, the more likely that you'll have no problem going from a 23 to a 25 to a 28 to possibly even a 32 because uh, the lower end bikes generally are set up so they give you a lot more clearance just because I think their tolerance is a lot more wide open uh, I had no problem doing it with my bike which is an entry-level bike um, and once again once I uh, changed out my front fork to a carbon fiber uh, that no longer accommodated the 28 mil and I had to go to a 25 and in fact that was a uh, the bike Oh, the fork I put on the bike is a Bontrager carbon fork, so uh, a good quality fork, good brand name fork, but will not handle the 28 mil tire. So if you're considering changing tires, use that rule of thumb and by all means do it. You'll be happy that you moved to a bigger tire, which is to give you a lot more comfort on a bike in fact i've read that uh, moving from a 23 to a 28 or even a 25 is almost like taking an aluminum bike and moving up to the comfort level that you would typically get out of a carbon fiber bike so another benefit and don't worry about rolling resistance on the bigger tire it's been proven that they have no more rolling resistance than a 23 mil tire and that's what I have to say about that.